Prices in our classroom, tonight at 6. Now, live from the studios of 1290 WHIO, your chance to take part in the Miami Valley's only midday radio talk forum. 1290 WHIO and Television 7 proudly present this simulcast segment of the Mike Sinto Show. Monday, happy day. And that, of course, uh, is the theme from a very popular show, Happy Days. Uh, and Marion Ross, who uh, played Marion Cunningham, is standing by right now, live uh, from her home in Los Angeles, California. Hello, Marion. How are you? I now, for some reason, I'm not hearing her. Let me see. No. Okay. I tell you what. I I don't know. Can you hear me, Marion? She can hear me just fine. And why I'm not hearing her? I'm not sure. Are you there, Marion? Hello? Okay. Hello. She, there she is. Hello, hello. Hi there, Marion. Good, good morning. Good morning, and thanks so much for coming on with us today. Yes, it's uh, very sweet to hear that music played. Is it? Um, what, is, what, is that, uh, what kind of memories does that bring back to you? Those were 11 very, very happy years, and, you know, we are all, the cast, we are all very close still. I talked to the Fonz, Henry Winkler, and I saw Ron last week down in Florida. Mm -hmm. yeah. was, it, uh, was it really a, a family? I mean, the, the, the folks who worked with you? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. In fact, that is the most natural thing that happens. You, you spend so much time together, you become a family. Most casts do become very close family. Mm -hmm. Did you become Marion Cunningham? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Does that bother you? To, uh, no, it doesn't bother me. Uh, a lot of of what I, I did in that part is me, I would go and play house down there. Mm -hmm. Was that really? <laughs> is, uh, now, is that one of the things I was talking about as we were waiting for the, the satellite hookup and the show to start? I uh, heard was, some of that yeah, conversation. Yeah, is that what the 50s were all about? No, you know uh, that the 50s were a very stagnant period in which the energy built up that was propelled in the 60s. You remember women's lib... Uh, Betty Friedan was writing The Feminine Mystique. There was a lot of pent-up energy that was just ready to burst out in the 60s. Uh, it's terrible to say it was a stagnant period, but mm -hmm. I think it was. Now, we, we have far too much freedom now. All the institutions have just been knocked down. But people, women wanted to get out of the home. Mm -hmm. Didn't they? Yeah, they did. And, and, yeah. I, and I, you know, I want to talk about your role as the... Uh, um, as the, the, the wife and the mother, and, and I, you know, you were not subservient. Uh, you were in, I think, a traditional 50s and 60s motherly at home type role. You know, did that, uh, did, did women's groups ever write to you and say, hey, come on, be more assertive? Once in a while they would say to me, aren't you going to do anything with this part that you're mm -hmm. playing? And I asked the writers, and they said, uh, Marion, it's not, oh, there goes my. My clock. It sounds beautiful. Yes, doesn't it? Yeah. They said, the series isn't about you. It's about the boys. Mm -hmm. And what I noticed, that the, the young men who wrote the show were writing out of their own experience. Mm -hmm. These were like 35-year-old men, and it was a fantasy of what they really wanted a mother to be. Mm -hmm. You know what amazes me? Yeah, it is very interesting. You know what amazes me is that, uh, and I, I assume it is the case with Happy Days as well, uh, the fact that you think about a show being popular and Happy Days was in the top ten most of the time that it was on. Yes. Um, you know, but, but after and in syndication, I'm sure you are seen in more markets and by more homes and in more countries than you ever were on the network. Am I right? I wouldn't be surprised. Yesterday I was shopping. People come up to me all the time and I think, how can they recognize me so much? When Happy Days is on every day here in the morning. Because you haven't changed so. a bit. Because a brand new little bunch of little children are watching this show. And yeah. the, we, every show had a little moral. Mm -hmm. We taught a little lesson in each show. And I'm very, very proud of the show. It was such a force for good. And even though it was a fantasy, uh, it's certainly not a bad fantasy. Okay. And you know what I love? I love that Marion loved Howard. Mm -hmm. And she would treat him with such respect and see that the children treated him with such respect. 
All right. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. Oh, in. absolutely. It's changed a lot, hasn't it? Yeah. Yep. We're going to give you an opportunity to talk to Marion Ross, Marion Cunningham on Happy Days, as the Mike Cento Show continues, coming to you live from the studios of 1290 WHIO Radio and the facilities of Television 7. You can take part in the Mike Sinto Show by calling 457-1290 or toll-free anywhere in Ohio, 1-800-345-1290. Surprise! 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 <laughs> Love it! It tried to kill me! What is it? It's blow your own! What? <laughs> Inflatable furniture. It's just the latest thing. Marion, what is wrong with you? You, you know, you... Marion, do you uh, remember the blow your own furniture? I do. Episode. You, you would fall off of it. Yep. I remember that. Uh, <laughs> how many of those? That that the series started in what? Seventy three. 74, somewhere in 74, that era. Yeah. 74. Now, if somebody says to you, Marion, uh, boy, I saw this episode and you did this, this, and. Are there some you don't remember now? Absolutely. Okay. I saw a, a total blank. And you know, near the end there, it got a little ridiculous. Uh, I think my favorite shows are the ones we did in the first five or six years. Yeah, you know, I, I, and I didn't get a chance to watch it uh, later as much as I did early on. And I, I tend to agree with you. Uh, something about Fonzie teaching or what, you know, I mean, that, that changes the whole, you know what I mean? The yes. image. Yes, yes. And uh, it's interesting. Fonzie was a hood, <laughs> but a good hood. But, and we would let that boy into our home. Yeah, yeah. Which, do you know that at one point they wanted to give the Fonz his own series called The Fonz, and he would go away from the family. Mm -hmm. And he was smart enough not to do that because the thing that made him so appealing was his playing off this sweet family. Sure. The interrelationship. We say hello to Sue. You're on with Marion Ross. Hi. Hi. Yes. <laughs> hello, yeah. Sue. Hi. Uh, <laughs> Are you yes. uh, still real close and, every, you know, everything to all the cast now? Then We are. We are. I, I talked to them on the phone. I just saw Ron l this week, uh -huh. last week. Yeah. Oh, I just love your show. And, you know, my kids, I know they said, well, uh, you know, uh, was it like, you know, like that back then in the 50s? And I said, well, I said, everybody seemed to be more closer back then. Well, and you, you, we all sat down at dinner together, didn't we? Uh -huh. And we have a pot roll. Really, I really enjoyed your show. All right. Thanks so much, thank Sue. You, Sue. And thank you, and you have a good day. Bye-bye. Thank bye. you. You too. We say hello to Dorothy. You're on with Marion Ross on the Mike Sinto Show. Hi. Hello. Yes. Hello. hello, Dorothy. Hello. Well, basically, the way I feel, I'm a Marion Ross. And uh, at this point in my <laughs> life, um, since time has changed, and I have kids getting ready to graduate from school, if you were in the situation that you were in in your show, how would you change your life? Because you have to change, have a whole new lifestyle. You've never worked before, and everybody's leaving. It's like starting all over. What would That's you an interesting question. Well, you know, uh, oh, Dorothy, yeah. I started my whole life over when I was 40 years old and, uh, and did very well, but it was very scary for me. And I think if you just realize that it's possible to build a new life, and that it will be good for your children to see you attack the second part of your life with the same zest that you did the first part. It will inspire your children. Dorothy, thanks so much for calling and have a great day. Uh, Marion, when, uh, when you look at the folks in the show, uh, besides you and Tom Bosley, uh, when you look at, uh, at Richie Cunningham, uh, you know, I mean, he, he went on, Ron Howard went on to be, he's probably one of the leading directors in Hollywood right now, is he, he not? Is. He He's one of the most important forces in Hollywood right now. Um, and Henry Winkler directs yes. and produces. And, uh, That's right. You know, was, uh, these are two folks who didn't let, we talk about childhood stars, uh, they didn't let the stardom get to their heads, obviously. They took, they learned, they watched, and they have, uh, have grown in that respect. Is that unusual for young talent in Hollywood? I think it's very unusual. And uh, uh, Ron, it was interesting to watch him. He was always low-key, he was always just exactly what you saw, but I think he had tremendous ambitions uh, for growth, and he was always watching and learning. 
Mm -hmm. uh, what a fine young man he is. What a fine family man he is. And, and so is Henry Winkler, fine father. Mm -hmm. They're very well-balanced people. Was there any... I've got to take a break, and then we'll come back to your phone calls. But I, I have to ask you, uh, I, I don't know where I heard it or read it in TV Guide or what, but toward the end of the series, when, uh, when Ronnie uh, was going to have, uh, or Richie was going to have the, uh, the baby, I heard that there was talk about naming the baby Opie. Was that, did, was that true? Did you? Not true. <laughs> well, we'd call him Opie around the set when we referred to the baby. Where is that little Opie guy? <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to take a break. Marion Ross with us uh, from Happy Days on the Mike Sinto Show on 1290 WHIO Radio and Television 7. Linda, you're on with Marion Ross. Good morning, Mike. Good morning. Marian. Good morning, Linda. Hi. Uh, first, I, I wanted to uh, tell you that um, I thoroughly enjoyed your role as the mother, as Mrs. Cunningham and the mother on uh, Happy Days, and also the roles that you've had since then. I've, I've mm -hmm. seen you in several different. Uh, so I think your talents is, talent wasn't lost when you uh, left the Cunningham family. Thank um, you. I wanted to ask you um, about, you, you mentioned that you thought the writers were writing a, a, a mother, an ideal mother, or what they thought was, was the ideal mother. Do you um, feel that people were watching the show, were different age groups, and were, um, uh, you know, watching it for different reasons, that some of them were watching it because they remember the 50s and it was, you know, they were reminiscing the 50s. Other people were watching it because... Uh, because it was just a good, fun show. Yeah. Or other people were watching it because of the... Fa I was watching it because of the family. Yes. Um, and I know that I stopped watching it when it got into the Joni and Chachi and the... Um, the night. Yeah, Marion didn't like that as much either. Right. Yeah. I, actually, I did stop watching it, and my kids picked it up yep. from there. <laughs> Marion, uh, wh why do you think people did watch the show? <clears throat> well, and we and you've got to admit that the Fonz, at the very beginning especially, he was a he was the cult figure. Uh, like John Travolta came along afterwards with Saturday Night Fever. I mean, that leather jacketed kind of guy was. It started sort of with the Fonz, and that was it became a cult guy. It just swept the country, and and the family and the whole. I just thought also that the writing during that early period was very fresh in capturing what young men are kind of all about in high school in a sweet way. And then after that, it, mm. it, it can you imagine what a problem it is for writers to keep writing every week, every week. Oh boy. After, after about eight years, they really do burn out, and we kept it going 11 years. Linda, thank you so much. Uh, before we uh, before we say hello to Lisa, you know, I have to tell you something. We uh, we contact for this show a lot of people, a, a lot of uh, uh, agents for various uh, stars to to come on the show and, and newsmakers. Um, I have never talked to, and my producer Todd Riffner will back me up on this, a nicer representative uh, than your agent and friend Barbara. Uh, she is the oh. sweetest lady in the world, and nobody oh, can appreciate that unless they've had to do this before. I've, I'm so pleased. That's Barbara Best, my manager. Yeah. Barbara, is she, I'm glad she's getting raves. She always gets raves. And I'm so used to her good manners that I, I probably don't appreciate her. But I hear this from everyone, how exceptional she is. So I'll share that with her. Lovely lady. Uh, we say hello to Lisa. You're on with Marion Ross. Hi. Hi, Miriam. Hello, Lisa. I just wanted to call and tell you, as I told Mike, that, um, you know, growing up, that uh, Happy Days was really one of the only shows that I can really recall watching with my family. Um, and it was just because it was just a good, fun show. Um, it was something that we could all laugh about. You know, um, my sister and I obviously were much younger. Um, Mom and Dad enjoyed it, though, too. And, and it was just something that we could sit down as a family t together and watch, and, and it was just really enjoyable. We really liked all of the characters. Lisa, what was your favorite episode? Uh, well, I, I had said that I remember when Miriam had taken a job at Arnold's as a car hop. Ah, <laughs> yes. Yes. 
That's right. I thought, I thought I've got to get out of the house. I've oh, never. <laughs> this poor woman. She never had any friends. She never went anywhere. Yeah, and I had I that job. You, um, when you danced with Fonzie in some kind of a, uh, some kind of a show, and uh, and uh, how he thought you were cheating on him. Right. I loved that show. We danced the tango together, oh the Fonz and I. I. Oh, I adored that. Well, Can you hear my clock bonging away? That sounds, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's a beautiful <laughs> clock. Lisa, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Um, let me get you to, I, I don't know uh, how, I, I, this maybe even isn't even a political question, but I, I want you to comment if you would. I don't know how much time you get to watch television today, you know. The quality of television uh, with respect to kids and, and family viewing, is there enough good television out there? Oh, I, I, to tell you the truth, I don't watch a lot of TV because it upsets me. And I, I grieve for these little children sitting at home alone watching some of this stuff. Some of those MTVs give me the absolute willies. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, our culture is changing so fast. I, it's like, even though I'm a professional woman, I, I, I wish that women could go back in the home. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they wish they could also, but do, they can't really afford it anymore. Yeah. But uh, we've got to have somebody nurturing in the home, don't we? I think men miss it. I mean, what's for dinner? Would you come home and smell something? <laughs> the cameraman's nodding his head. Now, you, you know? see, he's nodding his head. I'm nodding mine, but I'll get mail uh, you know, <laughs> I mean, I, for, for agreeing with you. But, yeah, I mean, that's, that was a nice life. That was a good time, wasn't I it? I think women w would like to go back, too. Yeah. So I would be curious to know how they feel but about it. But they're afraid to admit it. Well, not only that, they can't afford it. Yeah. Boy, I'm going to get the letters now. Uh, yeah. Just make sure you spell my name right. We're talking, <laughs> we're talking to Marion Ross, Marion Cunningham on Happy Days on the Mike Sento Show, coming to you live from the studios of 1290 WHIL Radio and the facilities of Television 7. Mrs. Cunningham? Yes, my dear? I'd like you to say hello to Mrs. Cunningham. Hi, Ann. Hello. Yes. You're Mrs. Hello. Cunningham, too, right? Yes, i got to tell you that we really enjoyed your show all the time. And in our neighborhood, when we used to live in the family neighborhood, that's what we were called, Mr. C and Mrs. C. You were. How cute. It you know, made me proud because of the, <laughs> all these, you know, little kids, sometimes you think they're being smart, but we never took it that way. They always say, how are you doing? Yes. Well, people, when people stop me on the street and say, hello, Mrs. C., I always feel that they're being just sweet about it. I love it. Thanks, Mrs. Cunningham. Bye-bye. Yeah, Bye-bye. Nice um, very quickly, before we go back to the phones, uh, what are you, I mean, there are a lot of Mrs. Cunningham and Marion Ross fans out there. Uh, what are you doing now? Any uh, movies of the week, TV series, books, uh, plays? Well, I'm going to go out on the road and do the play Steel Magnolias. Are you familiar with that yes, play? Yes, yes. And I'm going to be uh, joining the company in Detroit. Barbara Rush and I will be doing this play. And I'm also doing a wonderful one-woman play about the poet Edna St. Vincent Millay. Ah. Uh, now, is this going to be uh, at, at various locations? Is this a traveling company, or is it going to be in one? That's right. We're going okay. on, on national tour with Steel Magnolias. And uh, uh, I think the company will be in Cleveland, and then I will join them in Detroit. And then go to San Francisco and Los Angeles and, and back out to all across the I'll make sure I stay States. in touch with Barbara to find out where you are so we can let folks know. Oh, please do. We yeah. will do that indeed. Uh, do, you, do you like the live stage uh, versus... Uh, now, Happy Days was filmed before a live audience. That's right. I, I adore the live stage. And I, I, I really enjoy every medium. But uh, when you're on the stage, you know, you're in control. It's yours. Yeah. All it's right. your show. We say hello to Mike from North Dayton. Hi. Hi, Mike. Yes. Uh, I'd like to compliment her on the show at first. She played a very, very interesting and very good part in a very loving and caring mother, for one thing. And Arnold, the guy who had the restaurant on Happy Days, I would like to know what happened to him. And may I also say, as an older male, I also played like a Fonz. <laughs> restaurant area. Oh gosh! I grew up with younger kids. And Let me tell you an interesting story about Arnold, and, and then Marion, uh, if you'd follow up on it, I uh, after the show was over, he had a, a, a short-lived series, Mr. T and Tina, uh, and he came to Dayton. He was uh, 
Uh, he was not down and out, but he, he was not getting an awful lot of parts. Uh, I don't know if it was because of the Arnold part. Before he came back to the series as Arnold, uh, and I had dinner with him uh, here in Dayton, and uh, he was not real thrilled about his career, but now, boy, uh, the movies, uh, Karate Kid 3 is about yeah. due to come out, isn't it? That's uh, Pat Morita. Yeah. It, it's interesting about show business, isn't it? Oh, out yeah. Of, no, out of all of us, who gets the Academy Award is Pat Morita. It's yeah. incredible and has just succeeded so. But then, you know, we had Al Molinaro played Al for a while, too, right. later on. And he is from um, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Ah, okay. And I haven't seen Al in a long time. I don't know what he's up to. But so this gentleman, I've, I've, I've forgotten your name already. I'm talking. It's to Mike. You. It's Mike. Mike. Yeah. So you were a Fonz. I, I've talked to more guys who were who were a Fonz. We all knew those guys. Uh, were Michael. Those guys. Michael, thanks for calling. Bye. Bye. -bye. Uh, we say hello to Judy. We have just about a minute left for a quick question. Hi. Hi. I wanted to find out if they was going to have a comeback show. Going to have a reunion show? Yeah. You know, I'm asked that so much, and it, of course, everybody's too busy right now. Henry's producing and directing, and Ron is also. But it would be so much fun if in a few years we could have a, a reunion and, and uh, just see how much hair Ron Howard has left. <laughs> How old we're all getting. <laughs> oh, you know, I, I saw, thanks for calling, Judy, I saw Henry Winkler, a clip of, of some, some charity that he's involved with, and he's involved with so many, yes. but he still looks the same. McLaren Hall, that's... The Is that what it was? He works okay. for abused children. Yes. Right, and Tom has a brand new series, and his hair is getting very gray. Yeah, that's an interesting, uh, yeah, that's an interesting series. I never get any older. You don't? You haven't no. changed a bit? You no, haven't changed no. a bit. Th no. Listen... Marion, it has been uh, indeed a pleasure. I thank you so much. I know it's early out there for getting up, yes. and we'll, we will keep watching for when you're uh, appearing somewhere in the local area. Thanks well, so much. Well, and I love talking to all my friends. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Hey. All right, uh, from Happy Days, Mrs. C. We're going to talk about uh, a serious subject tomorrow on the show. We're going to be talking about child custody in this segment uh, between 9.30 and 10 on 1290 WHIO Radio and Television 7. If you can't stay with us on the radio side, go out there and make it an absolutely great day. This simulcast segment of the Mike Sinto Show was a presentation of 1290 WHIO Radio and Television 7. Join us tomorrow morning for another exciting guest and conversation. The Mike Sinto Show can be heard weekdays from 9 till 1 on AM 1290 WHIO.